Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my juice recipe. Um, my juicer is this one model right here. It is the Black and Decker model. My mom actually gifted this, gifted this to me when I was pregnant. So it's pretty easy to use. Um, all the junk, the skin, the peels, everything comes out in here. And um, it's easy to use, but it's very difficult to clean. And it just locks into place. Um, all the juice comes out here. The container is kind of small. Not too happy with that, but anyway. So for my juice, I usually have oranges. Um, just take out the rind, peel them, and cut them up. You can use an orange juicer, but I don't have that. I just throw everything in here. Beets and carrots. And usually I do throw in apples. Unfortunately, I didn't know I didn't have any apples in the house right now and just decided to go ahead and film this. So um, apples also make a good combination. This is my favorite. My daughter loves this too. And for my husband and I, I throw in a little piece of ginger. Um, Ginza's not too fond of it, so when I make it for her, this is all I use along with apples. So fresh beets, carrots, oranges, and apples. And uh, if you like, you can always throw other veggies in there. Um, so far this is all I know she likes. and. I feel this does pretty good. Okay guys, this just goes to show you um, where the juice comes out of and I have a glass full right here, a little bit of spill, but a glass full of juice. I'm still not done. Um, as you can see, that's why I'm not too happy, but I think most juicers are like this. So I'll pour it in a glass and I'll be right back. Same problem I have with my daughter. She loves crayons. I, they must taste good or something. I don't know, but she loves them. So usually when we go to restaurants,